Hey there folks, got an OU battle today, my opponent is Shadow Scythe WBO, pretty sure I met him through the smog on Wi-Fi Battle Finder, um, looking at his team, I see that Smeargle there, and based on what the, I'm not sure what that Smeargle is going to do, but when I see it's at level 1, it's like, yep, definitely a Feargle, definitely, definitely a Feargle, so, easy to deal with Feargle, just go ahead and taunt him, can't Spore, can't, uh, well, Trick Room, interesting, um, so that's great for me, uh, he's going to be forced to switch out, and I just go for the Stun Spore on the Blind Switch, figuring no one likes being paralyzed, although, uh, and I thought, kind of thought about it, I'm like, well, he's going for a Trick Room team, so that's not great. So anyway, I want, want to taunt this thing too. Don't know what he was thinking. I mean, obviously I'm going to want to taunt this thing and not prevent him setting up Stealth Rocks, but whatever. I send out my Tachikoma. He actually stays in and goes for Struggle. That cracked me up so much, but it's so great for me because now Overheat is going to be a one-hit KO instead of a two-hit KO because of Sturdy. So, yeah, Fortress is down for the count and I don't have to deal with it anymore. So that's really, really fantastic. Smeargle is back out. Um, gonna go ahead and call back Tachikoma, send out Jufro. Now if he goes with the Spore, I'm kinda screwed, but he doesn't, he goes for the Trick Room. Um, that's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and taunt him to prevent, me, uh, to prevent him from Sporing the next turn, and indeed he goes for the Spore. I don't think this guy has any attacking moves, or so I thought at this point. Going for the Stun Spore again, same exact thing. Here it was a really dumb idea because Trick Room is up, but I was thinking, you know, Parahax is better than anything else, and all his Pokemon are probably going to be pretty slow. Anyway, going to send out Jirachi. Uh, I can tank that for days. I've got the Wish, and, you know, he could get paralyzed at any point, so I'm just going to stay in. I'm pretty sure this turn I go for the Wish, and as you see, I'm at 192, uh, and after Leftovers, I'm going to be back up to half health. So he really cannot do jack to me, and the trick room just ended, so that's really great. I'm just stalling him out. I go for the Calm Mind here, knowing that there's probably nothing this guy can do to me, and indeed he gets fully paralyzed, and now he's confused. Um, I'm going to recover back up to full health thanks to that wish, and now it's time to start attacking. So um, his uh, fortress is down, so I don't have to worry about being walled when I go for um, Psy Shock. I'm not sure why I didn't switch out and go for the T-Bolt here. Figured might, he might switch. He goes for the power trick, but hey, Trick Room is down, so that's going to be great for me. I'm actually going to be able to KO with the Psy Shot. Uh, again, not sure why I didn't switch it up to go for the T-Bolt, considering Shuckles aren't that great special defensively. Maybe I'm wrong. I'll look that up. Anyway, hit Smeargle on the switch. Um, yeah, crit didn't matter. He's got the Sash. Uh, now he's going to go for the Spore, but I'm actually going to stay in because I don't know that he has any attack. I mean, he's probably going to go for Endeavor, um, but if he has Quick Attack or Extreme Speed, uh, you know, he's at level 1. It's not like he's going to be able to take me out considering the fact that I'm, uh, I'm, whatchamacallit, Steel-type and have Leftovers. So yeah, here he goes for the Endeavor. That's fine. Um, I recover back to 26 HP. He goes for Dragon Rage. Great move to have in that slot. Great move. So he does take me out. Um, I'm going to go ahead and send out Puff my Magic Dragonite, go for the Extreme Speed, Revenge Kill, deal with that fear, uh, fear goal. Um, again, really was not that big of a threat. Had I played a little smarter, I could have taken it out a bit sooner, but it really didn't matter. So now I'm going to send out Cosmic F, uh, as he goes for the Outrage, just basically waiting until the Trick Room ends. Uh, I didn't want to leave in my Dragonite, uh, because of Mold Breaker. Mold Breaker would have gone right through my multi-scale, and now, uh, Trick Room is down, uh, and this game is basically over. He gets fully paralyzed again. I was leaving in Cosmic F as Death Fodder. I think I'm debating switching out Cosmic F for uh, my old Don fan that I ran on. You know, I ran on my old Val team way, way back when it was an OU team. Basically, I think Don fan might be a better spinner on this team, and it's got Stealth Rocks, and Stealth Rocks might actually help me. Um, but yeah, I've been less than impressed by how much, how well it's basically been how I'm using him on top. Plus. Um, I'll talk about this later. I might want to bring Hitmontop down to my new uh, UU team, which is my old Sam team. Uh, but I'll get to get that when I reintroduce my Sam team. So anyway, Puffman Magic Dragonite is going to laugh at that close combat. I don't know why I didn't go for Stone Edge. That would have probably been the smart move. Maybe he was pretty near Switch. I don't know. I go for the Dragon Claw. doesn't quite take him out, but it brings, me down, uh, it brings him down to the range where an extreme speed will take him out. Yeah, useless crit is useless. I mean, at that range of health, what are you going to do? I was going to come Conkledor. Again, I'm expecting a Stone Edge or something like that. Uh, he goes for the Superpower. And I'm thinking, huh, Superpower, okay, whatever. You lower your attack, your defense. I didn't think I could KO on the next turn. Now I'm sure I can. He's Guts. 
Um, but, you know, he's at minus one, so I'm really not fearing anything. Gonna go for the Dragon Claw, and that is going to take out his Conkledur, and that is gonna win me the match. So I can't say this is the best OU battle I've ever had, but it was pretty fun, so comment, rate, subscribe.